Hi, I'm Francisco Castro from New York University, and my team and I will be talking about our project on developing comic-based learning toolkits for teaching computing to elementary school learners. And this project is in collaboration with Sang Ho Sa and Jane Yi from UC San Diego, Wina Nawaprati from Mahidol University, Yang Shi from NC State University, and our partner organization, Artshine. Our project brings together art and computing and draws inspiration from prior work on computing education in informal spaces like CS Unplug, Hour of Code, and many after-school programs. And a lot of these programs often used activities like creating games, solving puzzles, or producing artistic and creative artifacts through code. Some of these artifacts are shown in the images on the left, which showcases creating animations and visualizations through dance and poetry, creating binary name necklaces, or crafting a programmable light-up stuffed toy. For our project, we are using comics and comic creation as an avenue for learning computing and storytelling concepts like sequencing, conditionals, and narrative decomposition. You'll see these in action through a demo in a few moments. In recent years, we've been exploring how comics can be used to teach programming because it is a powerful medium that can present complicated concepts, languages, and procedures in an engaging and effective manner through its visual storytelling. And in one of the projects we conducted design workshops with teachers and students where we asked them to create comics for programming concepts. And this workshop revealed that this process can be very engaging and fun, but also beneficial to uh, learning about programming concepts. After learning about this work, Artshine, which is an organization that offers our education to uh, children and adults in schools, local communities, and households uh, reached out to us expressing interest in working together to develop a curriculum for teaching coding with art in students in K-12. They specifically wanted it to be in an Artshine box format, which is one of the programs that they offer to uh, families interested in running art activities at home. And as shown in this image, Artshine box typically comes with physical materials for the art activity and code for accessing the instruction video. So here's a comic for our prototype, which has rows of panels embodying programming concepts such as variable, function, and conditional. In the next slide, we'll demonstrate how these comic blocks can be used to construct a story and in the process, learn programming concepts. All right, so we have a set of comic blocks here. And on the left side, we have this story flow, um, beginning with context and conflict, and then conditional and resolution. So let's begin with the context. So these are a set of, uh, this is a set of uh, comic blocks for context. So we have a Spider-Man feeling good or sick and different design patterns here that we can use. And now I'm going to just go ahead with this one uh, where Spider-Man is feeling sick. And the next part is stage is conflict. And we have a set of comic blocks for conflict as well here. Uh, we have a thief stealing a bike, aliens invading the earth. And let me choose this one, where a thief is stealing a bike. And the next is conditional. And here is also a set of comic blocks for conditional. And let's go ahead with this one. And conditional is pretty much uh, a, a stage where we ask whether, um, you know, a character is having a certain state, such as, you know, here in, in this case, is Spider-Man feeling good? And we know that Spider-Man is feeling sick, so we'll come here and we have two options and we know that Sp Spider-Man is not feeling good, so we'll take this one, place it here. And because Spider-Man is feeling good, what is Spider-Man going to do? Well, Spider-Man could take a day off or come to the rescue, but because Spider-Man is sick, Unfortunately, Spider-Man will take a day off, so we'll place it here. So now we have this uh, story, and because it's block-based, uh, we can swap it with uh, other blocks. So uh, let's say, you know, instead of 
this story uh, being based on a thief stealing a bike, let's say that um, now we have a story where aliens are invading the earth. And let's say instead of Spider-Man feeling sick, we say that Spider-Man is actually feeling fabulous. All right, so now Spider-Man is feeling good, aliens are invading, and here we come, um, when we come here, we know that Spider-Man is feeling good, so instead of no, we should pick yes. And because Spider-Man is feeling great, instead of taking a day off, friendly neighbor will come to the rescue. So we have this second story. So once they have familiarized themselves with creating stories with comics, we'll provide them with empty templates where they can add their own characters, events, and actions uh, so that they can be more creative. And that is our project on comic-based learning toolkits for teaching computing. We have a lot more coming up for this project, like adding more advanced computing concepts and other comic book elements. So feel free to get in touch with our team for updates or for any questions and feedback. You can also visit our project's Open Science Framework page at the link shown. Thanks, and see you at SIGSI in Toronto.